Hi there, I'm KHU 11 digital anchor Brandy Smith. Like so many of you still reeling from the news of the death of Olivia Newton-John. The singer, songwriter, and actress died Monday. She was 73. Announcing her death, her husband wrote, Olivia has been a symbol of triumphs and hope for over 30 years, sharing her journey with breast cancer. Her healing inspiration and pioneering experience with plant medicine continues with the Olivia Newton-John Foundation Fund, dedicated to researching plant medicine and cancer. Joining me now is breast cancer oncologist, Dr. Jessica Jones with UT Health Houston and Memorial Hermann. And Dr. Jones, I, I just want to start off by asking, what's your first reaction to hearing about the news of Olivia Newton-John's passing? It's just a tremendous loss. I think we all feel the heartbreak of her loss as a community to all of her fans, to everybody out there. But I think also it really speaks to the hope that we now have that breast cancer is not something that can take away our life. And if you just look at her rich, long life while she had cancer, I think it, you can clearly see that we have made strides and we've made changes and it's a great time to be taken care of today. So we talk about this 30-year this battle that Olivia Newton-John waged with breast cancer, starting with a diagnosis in 92, and then in 2013, and then in 2017, all in different parts of her body. What, what does that say to you about this disease? I think it speaks tremendously to the advances in care that we have now in 2022, as compared to what we knew back in 1992. Now, it's not clear what Olivia Newton-John's initial treatment was, although she did receive a combination of surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, but we can all anticipate that she had an aggressive form of breast cancer, because we know that even though we do all the right things, there's going to be a subset of women where cancer may still come back. We're getting better at predicting who those women are, but to date are still not 100% certain. Let's talk about preventative care because it is so important to catch cancer early. What advice would you give to men or to women who have a history of breast cancer in their family? The U.S. Preventative Task Force recommends that women should start getting regular mammograms starting at the age of 40. Additionally, women may qualify for additional services in addition to her mammogram, such as MRI screening or even medication if she has a family history of breast cancer or other risk factors that put her at higher risk of breast cancer. Was there anything else that you really want folks to know going forward? There's going to be a lot of yeah. attention and focus on breast cancer after, the, after these mm -hmm. headlines. If there's one piece of information I want anybody from the audience to take away today, it's that prevention is cure, that we can stop breast cancer before it even starts. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. There are services and clinics out in the Houston area that take care of women and men just like you. Dr. Jessica Jones, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We have more information about Olivia Newton-John's life, about her battle with cancer, and about treatment options for breast cancer on KHOU.com.